Hello, young explorers. Get ready for an adventure into the wild world of plants. But not just any plants. We're talking about plants that eat meat. That's right. Meat-eating plants are real, and they're more amazing than you can imagine. These plants are like something out of a science fiction movie, but they exist right here on Earth. Join me as we journey deep into the jungle to uncover the secrets of these fascinating organisms. Get ready to be amazed by the wonders of nature. Carnivorous plants are like the superheroes of the plant kingdom. They stand out with their unique abilities and fascinating adaptations. They have a special power. They can eat insects. Yes, you heard that right. These plants have evolved to supplement their diet by trapping and digesting insects and other small creatures. Most plants get their energy from the sun and nutrients from the soil. They rely on photosynthesis to convert sunlight into food and absorb essential minerals from the ground. But carnivorous plants live in places where the soil doesn't have enough nutrients. These environments, like bogs and marshes, are often nutrient poor, making it difficult for regular plants to thrive. So they've developed a taste for bugs. By catching and digesting insects, they can get the nutrients they need to survive and grow. These plants have clever traps and tricks to catch their meals. They use sweet smells, sticky surfaces, and even intricate mechanisms to lure and capture their prey. Some, like the Venus flytrap, have snapping jaws that close quickly on unsuspecting insects. Others, like the sundew, have sticky surfaces that trap their prey. Don't worry though, these plants are only dangerous to insects. They pose no threat to humans or larger animals, making them a fascinating and safe addition to any garden or natural habitat. The Venus flytrap is the most famous carnivorous plant. It has leaves that look like open mouths with sharp teeth. Inside each trap, there are tiny hairs called trigger hairs. When an insect lands on the trap and touches the trigger hairs, the trap snaps shut in a fraction of a second. The teeth interlock to trap the insect inside. The Venus flytrap then releases digestive juices to break down the insect and absorb its nutrients. Pitcher plants have leaves that are shaped like pitchers or cups. These pitchers are filled with a slippery liquid that smells sweet to insects. Insects are attracted to the smell and land on the rim of the pitcher. But the rim is slippery and the insects fall into the liquid below. The insects can't climb out because the walls of the pitcher are too smooth. They drown in the liquid and are digested by the plant. Sundews, sticky situation. Sundews have a different strategy for catching insects. Their leaves are covered in sticky hairs that trap insects like flypaper. Sundews have glistening droplets on their hairs that sparkle in the sunlight. Insects are attracted to the glistening drops and get stuck to the hairs. Once an insect is stuck, the plant releases digestive enzymes to break down its prey. Dinner time for plants. Yum! Once a carnivorous plant has caught its prey, it's time for dinner. But plants don't have mouths like we do, so how do they eat? Carnivorous plants release special juices called enzymes onto their trapped prey. These enzymes are like powerful chemicals that break down the insect's body. They turn the insect's soft parts into a soup of nutrients that the plant can absorb. It's like the plant is having a bug smoothie. Where can we find carnivorous plants? Carnivorous plants are found all over the world, but they usually live in places where the soil is poor in nutrients. They like wet, boggy areas, swamps, and even rocky cliffs. Some carnivorous plants, like Venus flytraps, are only found in a small area of the world. Others, like pitcher plants, are found on every continent except Antarctica. No matter where they live, Carnivorous plants have adapted to survive in their unique environments. Fun facts about carnivorous plants. Carnivorous plants are some of the most fascinating and unique organisms in the plant kingdom. They have evolved incredible adaptations to survive in nutrient-poor environments by capturing and digesting insects and other small creatures. Did you know that some carnivorous plants can count? Yes, you heard that right. The Venus flytrap, one of the most well-known carnivorous plants, 
has a remarkable ability to count the number of times an insect touches its trigger hairs. It's true. The Venus flytrap can count how many times an insect touches its trigger hairs. This counting mechanism ensures that the plant only closes its trap when it is certain that there is a potential meal inside, thus conserving its precious energy. This helps it save energy and only close its trap when it's sure there's a meal inside. The trap will only snap shut if the hairs are touched twice within about 20 seconds, a clever strategy to avoid wasting energy on false alarms like raindrops or debris. Some pitcher plants are so big that they can even trap small animals like frogs and mice. These plants have deep, slippery cavities filled with digestive fluids where unsuspecting prey can fall in and be digested over time. But don't worry, these plants are still more interested in insects. Insects are their primary source of nutrients, and they play a crucial role in the plant's survival. They are an important part of the ecosystem, helping to control insect populations. By keeping insect numbers in check, carnivorous plants contribute to the balance of their habitats, ensuring that no single species dominates the environment. Their unique adaptations and roles make them a vital component of the natural world. Keep exploring! The world of carnivorous plants is full of wonder and surprise. These unique plants have evolved fascinating mechanisms to capture and digest their prey, often insects, to supplement their nutrient intake. These amazing plants show us that nature is full of creativity and that even the strangest things can be true. From the snap of a Venus flytrap to the sticky tentacles of a sundew, each species has its own method of survival. So next time you're exploring the great outdoors, keep your eyes peeled for these fascinating plants. They can be found in a variety of environments, from bogs and swamps to forests and meadows. You never know what amazing discoveries you might make. Whether you're a seasoned botanist or a curious child, the thrill of finding a carnivorous plant in its natural habitat is unparalleled. Remember, the world is full of incredible creatures and plants just waiting to be discovered. Each step you take in nature could lead to a new and exciting find, adding to your understanding of the natural world. Keep exploring, stay curious, and never stop learning about the natural world around us. The more we explore, the more we realize how much there is still to learn and appreciate about the intricate web of life that surrounds us.